and welcome back to Black Dice Gaming. I'm James and today we'll be looking at the Human Cavalry from the Elfmark range. Uh, this is the box. Uh, there's enough parts to make 15 models. And the picture is a really good representation of what you get inside the box. Uh, very light armoured horses and riders. Uh, here's an example of some of the uh, models that can be created. And uh, a little example of how they go together. So, yep, 15 models of the 28 millimeter scale. So, let's have a look at the sprue. Uh, again, comes with your standard square bases. Horses. So, these are your horses. Now, I've put some of these together and I... I'm not 100% sure that you can mix and match the body parts. I didn't seem to. Uh, I have only put three together, which I will be showing a little bit later on. Uh, but they do seem to go together, although they're not numbered like the wolves were in the, uh, the Wolf Rider boxes. Uh, they are kind of obvious as to what goes with what. When you start putting them together, you can see the little... Uh, uh, little nooks and where they join up on each other you can see yeah hopefully you can see that uh, but the, the horses themselves are, are really really nice very plain and uh, no armor on them just a, a lot of belts a lot of harness uh, giving you full rein to, to, to paint them however you wish really uh, ever so often, you you watch. Sorry, you get uh, five of these sprues, three horses on each, all identical. Uh, so often you do the horses, and they tend to have lots of armor, so you're kind of limited to the sort of color palette. But on these, you can do whatever you want, really. So let's look at the riders. There are three rider sprues, and this is um this is it right here. So I'm going to show you the the legs first of all. Uh, all of the legs are very similar. Uh, obviously a few small details on, on each one, slight different, but uh, very similar overall. Uh, head options and some pouch options just there. There's enough to make them uh, all archers, all spearmen if you wanted to, and all hand weapons. The hand weapons are just down here, so you've got swords and, and axes. Uh, <clears throat> lots of spears here, you've got little daggers that they can on the sides of them. The torsos themselves, kind of just a bit of padded leather armour, nothing too special. These are the helmeted heads just here. A uh, bit of variation there. And then you've got the, sorry I've, I'm just recovering from a bit of a, uh, a bit of a flu so do forgive me. Hooded helmets. Uh, this is your command sprue. You've got the, uh, the flagpole and the flag head here. And you've got a, a helmet here, which is probably going to be quite difficult to show you, but it's a little bit different to the rest. Kind of Romanesque, as are the shields. I don't know if you noticed, they're very Romanesque shields. They're all identical, all wooden. Okay. Bows, very simple bows. Uh, there are some hands where you can position them with arrows and quivers. And like I say, you've got the hand weapons just down here. Okay, three of those sprues, five on each, obviously. Uh, so I'll show you a few examples. Uh, this is uh, just a standard bearer that I made. There we go. Go together very, very easy. Very, very simple. Uh, this is a, a spearman that I, I built. I haven't put the shield on these ones. Again, I probably intend to paint them at some point. Okay. And then I used the champion head to give you a better view of what the, the champion head looks like. Again, just commanding his troops into battle. Uh... I've got one of the wolf riders from, from the goblin range, if you want to see what they look like side by side. 
There we go. So that was the champion I built for the wolf riders and the champion for the humans. You see the humans are obviously a little bit taller as they should be. Sorry, this is really bad camera angling. There we go. Uh, and then I've got one of the infantry models as well, which I've built up to give you an idea of that sort of scale. And there we are. Okay, so that just about wraps it up. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be doing the infantry next. And um, we'll do some comparisons with the goblin infantry as well. Alright, so hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.